Meanwhile, implicated in a corruption scandal, Austria's far-right Chancellor Sebastian Kurz has now announced that he's stepping down in what he is describing as an effort to try and defuse a government crisis. The announcement caps Kurz's rise in politics and also the tumultuous four years as Chancellor in which his government already had collapsed once. Sebastian Kurz, who in 2017 became the world's youngest democratically elected leader at the age of 31, said that he wanted to make space to prevent more chaos. The now 35-year-old leader has proposed that Foreign Minister Alexander Schallenberg shall replace him. Sehr geehrte Damen und Herren, liebe Österreicherinnen und Österreicher, in dieser schwierigen Zeit sollte es jedoch aber niemals um persönliche Interessen, um Parteiinteressen oder politische Taktiken gehen, denn mein Land ist mir wichtiger als meine Person. Und was es jetzt braucht, sind stabile Verhältnisse. Ich möchte daher, um die Pattsituation aufzulösen, Platz machen, um Chaos zu verhindern und Stabilität zu gewährleisten. Sie haben alle mitverfolgt, dass in den letzten Tagen strafrechtliche Vorwürfe gegen mich erhoben worden sind. Diese Vorwürfe stammen aus dem Jahr 2016. Sie sind falsch und ich werde das auch aufklären können. Davon bin ich zutiefst überzeugt. The pressure on Sebastian Kurz to resign started after prosecutors raided several locations earlier this week linked to his People's Party. Prosecutors announced that Sebastian Kurz and nine other individuals were under investigation over claims of having taken bribes and that government money was being used between the years 2016 and 2018 in a very corrupt deal to ensure positive media coverage of Sebastian Kurz while he was Chancellor. The Kurz and his close associates are accused of trying to secure his rise to the leadership of his party and also of the country with the help of manipulated polls and also friendly reportage in the media that was financed with public money. Sebastian Kurz, who became the People's Party's leader and then the Chancellor at the age of 31, has denied that he bribed the media to give him positive coverage. In a statement, Sebastian Kurz insisted again that accusations against him are completely false and that he will be able to clear all of the accusations that have been leveled against him. In a separate case, the Austrian anti-corruption authorities have put Sebastian Kurz under investigation in the month of May on suspicion of making false statements to a parliamentary commission, an allegation that he also has rejected, but although he's being investigated for it. Sebastian Kurz has said that he will become the head of his conservative Austrian People's Parliamentary Group. Kurz's party had closed ranks behind him after the prosecutor's announcement of graft claims, but its junior coalition partner, the Greens have said that Sebastian Kurz simply could not remain as Chancellor and have demanded that his party should nominate a person of irreproachable character to replace him. But Sebastian Kurz has criticized the Greens' decision to in fact pull the rug from under his feet. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.